guys, you would not believe it. I'm literally about to go surfing with a CT surfer. This is like the biggest thing that's ever happened on the channel. I'm absolutely frothing. I'll see you there. Yo guys, I'm out here with Maxine. <laughs> yeah. Hello, yeah, nice. So for people who don't know you, who are you and where'd you grow up? Yeah, um, so my name is Maximisno. I'm uh, from Reunion Island which is a, a French uh, island on the Indian Ocean. I've seen ne that, next sick to waves. Mauritius. Yeah, there's sick waves. It's really similar to like Hawaii and Maldives and waves like that, and then Bali. So I grew up there, but it's a French colony, so I have the French passport as well. And I, I just moved to France when I was about like 18. Been living there for like 10 years, around the Osago yeah. area. Yeah, some wow. Some big bars. <laughs> yeah, oh, sick. Yeah. And how long have you been competing for? Um, I start when I was around, uh, Let's go. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get some waves. <laughs> All right, there's actually some solid sets. I'm a bit out of my comfort zone here, but I have a pro surfer with me. I'll be sweet, but uh, it'll probably be him catching all the bombs. I'll just be sitting off the shoulder filming him. Look at this thing. What? Oh, oh my god. The GoPro won't do it justice, but this thing's like double overhead. Oh. <laughs> I'll be waiting for my smaller little ones. That first one, the GoPro never does it justice, but you'll be able to see this. The guy looked tiny compared to that wave. So thick. Go! These things are thick. <laughs> Sam just got the heaviest, biggest pit I've probably ever witnessed in real life. Oh my god, the man charges.
how long have you been competing for? Um, I start when I was around uh, 11 on the junior grommets, all those things. And then I've just been competing since that. So yeah. it's been like almost 20 years now. Yeah, wow. Yeah. And I saw when you qualified uh, that it took you like 10 years to get onto the championship tour. Yeah. yeah. How did you feel when yeah. you qualified? Ah, oh, that was awesome. That yeah. was really like a dream achievement. And I don't know, I've just been there for years and I got close a lot of time, but sometimes like we don't realize, but the QS is about a one or two hit difference that you don't get the point, the opponent get the point, and then that's it. It just qualifies. So sometimes it's not that. It took me a while, but it just was like one or two hits that I need to make make it true. Yeah. So I was just stuck that last year. I just finally managed it. <laughs> yeah. No, well done. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And then being like making the CT, then being on it. What was it actually like? Was it? the dream tour how everyone imagines yeah um, or was it a lot of hard work it's it's a lot of hard work i feel like once you get there it's even like more work you need to do like i uh, i was one one of the most uh, uh i felt like i was one of the most passionate on the qs always in the water no matter the condition always out there and i got on the city and then i felt like everyone was surfing as much as me so i was like whoa so <laughs> i i kind of guess like everyone is there is for a reason they all crazy good surfer and we you just realize it once you're there and it was awesome like just competing against them it's 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 what we love to do like i, I really enjoyed pushing myself to the to the top and and yeah. being against the top guys i just felt like I, I was unlucky with the waves uh it wasn't as dreamy as it should be yeah <laughs> oh, no, so was... yeah in that way i felt like we got really bad waves and i felt yeah. like oh it wasn't that dreamy in terms yeah. of condition but in terms of the platform what's out there for us and then and surfing was really amazing yeah sick <laughs> what do you think of the mid-season cut yeah that was bad <laughs> yeah. that was very bad i mean it's a bit of a up yeah it's i think it's terrible in a way because like five event you can't really put the scale of everyone level it's especially with wave like bell sense and margaret they are pretty much the same sort of waves yeah so you i feel like you cannot get the same surfing in boss in all those events and then gonna get the same guys uh doing well so i feel like we should have more more events with more diversity so you can really 100 yeah especially the right handers for the goofy footers yeah, especially. yeah especially for that and then yeah. the air game there's only like just super trip where you can and not all the time so there's a lot yeah. of like elements there's no left no air game like all these things that like you can't really mix up so yeah for know. sure what's a day in the life as a championship to a surfer like um, how often do you train a week how many yeah. hours do you surf so i just gonna I, I wake up like uh depending on the places I, I i am too but it's pretty like six to eight and then i just gotta do a, a warm-up uh wake up like yoga style and stretching and then i just awesome. go surf uh like about two hours to two thirty uh in the morning and i do the an afternoon surf again and then yeah it just depends the afternoon surf really depends like if if it's dead flat i just go and train if it's really good i just go and for another surf and and sometimes i can surf three times a day and sometimes i just surf once and do physical training yeah so it's just a matter of condition and 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 just where i am out yeah so like if i feel i need like to, to train i just go out and train physically if i feel like i I'm feeling good. I just want to practice and surf, so yeah, I wow. really adapted. <laughs> yeah, oh, mate, that's awesome. My GoPro just died, but we're on the phone cam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Maxime, what I was trying to ask you before was if there's like kid who wants to be a pro surfer or just anyone chasing their dreams, what would be the advice you'd give them? Yeah, um, I would just say like from my experience and what I'm been doing since I'm a kid is I'm just passionate about surfing what matters to me is surfing good try to improve always try to progress and be able to surf really good in any condition gonna go out there always try to have fun and and find uh, turns that give me a lot of fun and that's what I'm focused on I'm not really focusing on winning and all that this just come as a result yeah. you know the what you're gonna enjoy is just the, the surfing every day any condition and just try to have fun out there and always try to improve 
Like I walk a lot on my weaknesses all the time. Like I was a very bad surfer in small rides and I just walk a lot on that. And now I enjoyed a lot surfing small rides, which I didn't before. So it's the same in the big wave. I was in a big wave surfer and I improve in bars and now I'm just like exciting for it. So all these things is just about spending time in the condition and always try to improve. That's it. Yeah. And be passionate about it. Be passionate, love it. That's, <laughs> That's awesome. it. Just love surfing. Yeah. <laughs> Simple. Yeah, love it man. <laughs> I'm